Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a Java project on Airlines Reservation System. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java IDE. You can choose any IDE of your choice and a Swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here is my main method. I am calling an object of airplane class this is a gui form so to create one you need to go over here in the project package then click on new then click on swing ui designer and then click on gui form two files will be generated i have named it as airplane airplane.java file is for the code and the dot form file is for the designing of the interface let's see our interface first this is the j panel okay and i have named it as air panel and i have provided margins to it these are the text fields this is a j label and uh, sorry this is a j panel which uh, of border layout don't forget to keep it as border layout and uh, i have named it as doj date of journey and the ticket is of this is a spinner okay so uh, we are using spinner to uh, input the number of tickets and this is a j label over here and i have named it as fair Okay, this is a JTEXT area. These are three buttons over here for searching the flight, for booking the flight, and for uh, resetting this whole uh, panel. This is a J table, and don't forget to add the J table under the J scroll pane. Okay, this is all about the interface. Let's uh, go over to the Java file. So, here in Java file, these all fields will be generated automatically once you uh, provide the field names over here. Okay. So under the constructor, first I am uh, calling this, uh, making this object of JFrame class and the JDate chooser. It will be this JDate chooser will be available once you change the settings. Okay, okay. Or oh, under the project structure, here you can under the module section you can add your jar files. The J calendar jar file is required to add this. Uh, uh, jdate chooser and I am building the connection to the mysql so mysql.connected is required these two jar files are added uh, okay and uh, then you can move on to this video so under the constructor we need to add these four uh, four to five lines which uh, is required so whenever you create an object of airplane class this form this uh, panel appears on the screen Okay, so I am setting this set visible to true and you need to pass your uh, name of the panel, okay, air panel over to here, set contain pane and pass your air panel to that and uh, then this DOJ is my J panel, uh, which I have told you, uh, this is the J panel of border layout and I am adding my uh, date chooser over here, okay, this is the date chooser in this IntelliJ ID you need to add this like this but in the other IDs what you can do is add the jar file similarly to the palette this over palette over here then you can just drag and drop whatever you require so uh, the J calendar will be available over here after adding the jar file and then you can drag and drop to add the calendar but in, but in this ID you need to do it this way and I am setting the fare this j label over here total fare as uh, zero initially okay let's uh, check the buttons the functionality of the buttons so for adding that you need to right click over here then go to uh, create listener option the, uh, it uh, it will generate few lines of code over here like this and then you can add your functionality to it so what i have done over here is checked if the fields are null or not and if they are null that uh, then I am popping the message please fill source and destination to search okay so this will be required for searching otherwise uh, uh, if the user has provided something then I am passing this query select all from airplane this is the ta uh, table name uh, where source is whatever the user has entered okay and the destination whatever we get from the text field okay so uh, this query will be run and uh, saved under the result set and uh, we'll be using execute query method to call uh, to call this query run this query and then we are using this uh, if else statement over here 
so if there is nothing into the table so if the user has entered something into the source and destination but it is not available into the database okay then then uh, then after that this message will pop up no flights available okay if there is nothing into the table but if there is anything into the table then save uh, then run the query again okay and save it in results and then call this set model method to uh, store the data of the table from the database we are using this uh, method i am using this method over here which i have created on my own but instead of this you can create uh, you can call uh, the method dbutils dot result set to table model method and pass your result set to that and it will work in the same way i mean catching the exception over here and passing uh, this message will be printed into the console okay you can either print into the console or you can just check your message uh, like this over here in the goption pane dot show message dialog okay uh, that was all about the search button let's uh, check our book button this is the button okay and uh, what i'm doing here is popping the message find your boarding pass attached and calling this method print pass okay and this is my table listener over here so you can add one by going over here in the table then right click then click on create listener then click on mouse listener your mouse listener will be generated what we require is uh, let's say to uh, populate the text fields or anything or this uh, text area with the data uh, which is stored over here in the table okay so uh, when you select this particular row for example the second row so we want is to populate the text fields from this this square and green so we require the uh, index value of row and column so here the square the square value is stored in the second row and the first column okay so what we want is to get the row so this method is run over here get selected row this uh, uh, returns a value integer type which we are storing over here in this uh, variable selected row okay it uh, returns the index of the row and we are also calling this get uh, get model of this and storing it in the variable dm of type default table model and then we are calling dm dot get value add this is a uh, method which is available over here available in this class okay so dm dot get value add we need to pass two values these uh, row and the column the row is the selected row and the column is uh, fourth column as uh, we want the total this fair okay over here the fair we want to change the value of fair so the fair value is stored in the fourth column the column starts from zero okay so uh, i have already made uh, uh, i have already inserted few values into the database so the, uh, it's under the fourth column so we are extracting that value and storing it in this variable a then and I, I am also getting the value from the spinner so to get value from the spinner spinner dot get value and uh, it's of integer type so i'm passing it into integer and multiplying it with a this a which is the price of the uh, ticket so for one ticket the price is this and for the uh, let's say you choose two value in the spinner so you need to uh, you need to purchase two tickets so two will be multiplied by this a uh, the ticket value and then uh, i'm passing it in string and uh, storing it in this total and then fair will be set to total okay this all will be the functionality of the mouse listener let's check the reset button reset button is i am just disposing this frame this current frame and then popping another uh, object of airplane class okay this is a print pass method which i am calling over here in the book button let's check that out uh, okay so i am all uh, we require this value from the table so we need to add these two lines over here and the date which uh, we are selecting we need to format it first so we uh, need to call this uh, get date instance method and call dot format and pass your date chooser and dot get date over here and it will be formatted uh, you'll see that once i run the program okay so and uh, this all text is uh, i'm just setting the text 
what will be stored in the j text area over here okay so first time uh, first line will be boarding pass okay uh, we need to call this get text again and again because uh, after setting the value if you don't call this then the next value will be stored and this value will be replaced okay so if we don't call this over here boarding pass will be present first and the next line will run so only this will be present this will vanish okay so you need to call for every line uh, what I'm uh, doing here is only setting text. This is boarding pass. Okay, the name, the flight name, the source, destination, date of journey, time, and total amount. And we are retrieving all the values from the table. So uh, name will be from I'm retrieving from the text field. The flight name, the flight number will be in the in my table. So I'm extracting from there. It's under the zeroth column. The source and destination will be providing by you, uh, the user. So we are extracting from there. Date of journey will also be provided from the user, but the time, okay. We are uh, calling this, the time is saved under there. And the total amount, the total amount is the fare. Okay, I am first setting the text over here from the uh, listener, the mouse listener. So we are extracting that from fare this j level and concatenating with this rupee sign okay this is it and this is about uh, okay we are not using that so let's uh, run the program okay we can see nothing is there and if we enter like something over here and uh, anything over here and call this okay uh, the output is present in over here in the console okay there was some error uh, let me check the uh, local host was uh, the server was wrong so let's try again okay no flights available so no data into there so this is working Okay, let's select uh, from Goa to Kolkata. Date of journey. Okay, let's uh, get two tickets. Search flight. Okay, this is working. Uh, it's already present into the database this is the flight number okay on clicking this we we are getting 7000 okay the fare is uh, extracted from here the 3500 and uh, it gets multiplied with the counter count uh, over oh, spinner over here its uh, value is 2 so 2 is multiplied with 3500 and we are getting the fare correctly okay uh, let's press on this book button so we are uh, getting the name correctly, the flight number, the source, destination, the date of journey. Okay, this is 28th July. Okay, and uh, the time is 9. And uh, total, okay, the departure time is over here. Okay, I am also extracting from the uh, table. The total amount is 7000, which I am extracting from here. Okay, this is it. Let's reset it. Okay, this is working. I hope you understood the working of the code. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas.